Hey, welcome back. Okay, so now that we can do all this, the only remaining thing is for us to know when we have new messages and uh, we can call it a day after that. So the same way we have notifications here, we need to have a message notification. So if you go to your browser and look for Icon Monster, the website, that's the name there. And uh, just, uh, I searched for, what did I search for? Message, and you get one of these. So I'm getting one of these, and I clicked on embed, and it brought me here. So I will copy this. So just accept the agreement and click on embed. Okay, so now we are going to our header so that we can uh, include our icon. So where is our check notifications that's the one right there notif so it looks like this is our wait a minute wait a minute it's been such a long time that i have forgotten what we're actually using here Let me come back here. So there's a number there. So I'm guessing this is the part that shows the number. And then this is the image and SVG there. But instead of doing all this, so this is the whole thing here. What I will do is I will duplicate this up to there. And let's see what happens. Okay, so then we have two of these uh, nice thing is yes let's look at uh, margin right here so let me remove the margin right uh, on here let's see what happens ah so it moves the other one okay good so at least i know what that does padding we don't have a margin do we margin top hmm span display nine blocks so this is the one i need to change the margin for so let, let me add some margin here of maybe six pixels i just want to separate it from the friend there yeah and that causes all sorts of problems let's try two pixels okay so maybe it works so uh, well or better if both of these had that so i'll remove this temporarily for now and what i need to paste is my uh, image so instead of having this image over here uh, this is 25 pixels wide float right okay now these styles look uh, awesome i will just paste the svg over there and then i will fill this thing like this because I want that same color over there mm hmm oh let me fill it with uh... let's try with white or oh, let's try yellow and then I'll remove the actual image here let me change the width and height to 25 so I can try and match this one and i think everything else maybe the margin top so let me get the the styles here and drag them in here for a second and remove this okay so there you go so what i can do is uh wait let me remove that if i remove the float what happens Oh, that's for the wrong thing, yeah. Okay, so let's try a margin left of 10 pixels. Okay, that worked. All right, so we're good to go. So we have this here, we have that there. So you can change the color here as you please. Instead of yellow, you can put orange or something here. 
that or you can get an actual color from photoshop or something like that that's entirely up to you so this is just for demonstration purposes only so there we go now what we need to do is to check for messages yes how many messages we have and then let's put that number over there so currently what's happening is we have this check notifications so instead of that let's make one that says check messages mm -hmm. now in order for us to check our messages we just need to remember that um, if we go to messages or messages this whatever the query is here it should be the same as the query here the only difference is we have to go through these guys and find out how many of them we've read and how many we have not right or how many new messages exist mm -hmm. okay so instead of checking for how many threads exist we check how many messages we haven't read so and actually the order doesn't matter so maybe we will not use the query here what we need to look for though is where we are either the sender or the receiver and deleted is zero as required and then uh seen is zero yeah those should be the rules so no problemo let's go to our functions.php and check for add notification content i follow notification scene and check notification yes yes okay so instead of this check notification let's go to messages class and let's steal one of these functions here there's read one but uh, we want one where we are reading all so read threads yes hmm interesting one but i think we are more closely related to the read so i will copy this function here come to functions.php and let's go to the very very end at the bottom let's paste like a so let's move everything over inside like that okay so we will call this one check messages and whose messages are we checking our own so we don't really need a user id at all because we already have it here so we have uh, that we have uh, user id we don't need so let's change our query to suit what we want so select all from messages where sender um, hmm. sender is equal to me so I will remove this part here, which has the user ID. So where the sender is equal to me and deleted sender is zero. Okay, I agree with that. Same thing here, let's remove that user ID. Receiver and receiver is zero. Okay, pretty good. And all of this should be true, but we, we are using an or. So there's, that is equal to me and deleted is equal to zero yeah so we can add something here you can say and scene is equal to zero same thing here and scene is equal to zero mm -hmm. but we don't need to order anything here order by what 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 so you can choose still to limit uh, how many notificate message, message notifications you can have so maybe a hundred is fine like that if somebody hasn't read the other ones they're probably not interested anyway so we'll sort those out but what we want to return here is the number the count of these messages so what i will do is i will say if we don't get all this let's return zero but if we do have an answer, let's return count data. 
so that we are just returning numbers here. How many we returned or zero? And that is check messages. Back to the header and this is for messages. Yes, messages. We've changed the link and check messages as well. So instead of notif, ah, let's leave it at, at that. Yeah. Now let's refresh. Ooh. Unexpected public. Ah, oh, man. Silly mistake. So you don't put this is only for classes. My bad. And there we go. So <clears throat> we are getting uh, nothing there, which is uh, pretty incredible. Considering I know we are supposed to get some. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If not, if is greater than zero, then put that. So clearly we are getting a zero. That's why it's empty like that. Hmm. Okay, so why are we getting a zero? Let's go back to functions here. So let's see, select all from messages. Where sender is equal to me and delete sender is zero and scene is equal to zero. Okay, so let's see if we can try to match those things. So if we are the, because I'm the one that deleted here, so sender, this is likely my uh, user ID. So where sender is equal to me, and that's, that's correct right there. And deleted sender is equal to zero. Deleted sender, not zero at all. So let's come back here to where it is zero. So here we have one of those. Deleted is zero, true. And scene is zero because scene is zero on everything. So the or doesn't matter because we already have this correctly. So that should return something already. So what is going on? Okay, so I think the problem is with our bracketing here. There's an extra bracket here we don't need. And what extra bracket? And another extra bracket here. Yeah, that's probably the problem. So let's refresh. Finally, we get a number. 